Okay, hi everyone. Let's look at this information. What we're going to do is answer the question you see right here, which says, what was the direct labor cost charged to production? That also means, what did we charge to work and process during the year for direct labor? Now, look at the information they gave us. They gave us raw material beginning and ending inventory, and they gave us some other data. Total direct material used was 334000 and total manufacturing cost charged to production during the year, which includes direct material, direct labor, and manufacturing, was 686. And they also tell us that the overhead is applied to production at a rate of 60% of direct labor cost. Then they also gave us cost of goods available for sale and selling and administrative expenses. Now to tackle this one part of this, well this one question that relates to this information, what was the direct labor cost charged to production? This is all we have to do. We take the total manufacturing cost of 686 and we subtract out the direct materials. What that leaves us with is the direct labor and overhead components of the manufacturing cost, right? We've excluded the direct labor. Now, they tell us that the direct labor, or let me put this another way, overhead is applied as a basis of direct labor. So the 352,000 contains 100% of the labor cost and then 60% of the labor as its comp overhead component. So what that means is we have this mathematical formula. You can see, uh, let me, I'm trying to make that go away there, right above my mouse. You have 100% of the direct labor cost plus 60% equals 352. Well, we can just use algebra to solve for this one. So DL is equal to 160% 100, of the 352,000. That's the total labor and overhead component of the manufacturing costs, right? And then if we just solve that, oh, I slid, I didn't mean to do that. Let me slide right here. You can see the solution, which is take 352,000 divided by 160%, and you come up with the answer, which is 220,000. Okay, now let's think through this next question, or this next part of this information that asks this question. What was the cost of goods manufactured during the year? Remember, we've got beginning and ending information as well as the other data. Okay, well, here's all we need to know so that we can then rely on some math to solve it. The work in process at the beginning was 80,000, and then we added in the manufacturing cost. They gave us that as well, 686, and the work in process at the end was 30,000. Okay, so if we've got the work in process beginning and the total manufacturing, if we add that together, that's the total cost to account for. And we could subtract out ending work in process to calculate cost of goods manufactured. Now, I've done this right here in Excel, okay? I'll just hit the uh, F2 so you can see my formula. And I, I left off the 1,000. So equal 80 plus 686 minus 30 gives us 736. And of course, the answer has to be in thousands. Uh, so the answer is 736,000. Okay, and that was cost of goods manufactured. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.